you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. Anne's having playtime in her playroom. And I am starving, okay? I just took some photos and created some content and so forth and so on. But now I am starving, so it's time for me to eat. I gotta close all these drawers because Anne opens all of her drawers now. So while she's playing, this is my perfect timing to go and give me something to eat. So, anywho, let me catch y'all up or whatever. Lots of good news going on. So, um, where do we start? So I went to the gym this morning. I'm really excited about that. My arms are super sore though, you guys. I guess that's a good thing, but yeah, arms are super sore. I'm still driving the Cadillac. They're going to come and pick it up tomorrow so i get all of the rest of today to drive around with it it's been a really great driving experience i really did appreciate receiving that vehicle as a gift for mother's day and what is this kid doing you guys i did some meal prepping last night so i have tons of food options in the fridge right now got a bunch of deliveries over here working on a project with nike at the moment really excited about that partnership nike is one of the companies that i've been kind of wanting to work with for a really long time. It's always kind of been a low key bucket list item, kind of a dream to be able to work with Nike. So I'm really excited about that partnership. So yeah, I just picked Ann up and everything and she took off her coat and shoes. I'm just glad that she understands that she needs to take these items off, but I do need to teach her how to hang up her coat and put her shoes away and all that. So we're still working on that. So I got all of my little meals in here. I'm really excited about the selections and variety this time. I think I'm gonna have this one right now. I'm gonna make like a jerk chicken um, type of situation. So this is a whole wheat pasta with homemade um, cream sauce. And then I made the jerk chicken spicy and I actually cooked the peppers with it. And then I just put the peppers on top of the pasta. So I'm getting ready to have this right now. I also made um, a spaghetti dish with some bison and I have some lamb chops and all that stuff. So yeah, just using some of the lower fat meat options that our nutritionist had recommended. So yeah, it's Mother's Day weekend. So we are getting ready for um, our Mother's Day plans. Um, the only thing we're really doing is going out to dinner on Saturday night. We're actually not gonna do much on Sunday because I actually have some work I need to do on Sunday. So. Go figure, but yeah, we're not gonna really do much. But I am looking forward to dinner on Saturday night. We're gonna be going to the signature room for dinner, I believe. And get down, mommy. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Let's see how this tastes. So hungry. Mm. Real spicy. I used actual habanero pepper, minced it up really small and threw it in there with the chicken so it's quite spicy. Mm, really good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I didn't get to really talk to y'all much yesterday after I ate my food. I kind of just did my regular nightly routine, got in fed and together, ready for bed and all that, cleaned up a little bit. Didn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> I also forgot to mention to you guys another part of the good news I had started to share and then I lost my train of thought, but um, our windows are done. So I don't know if you guys remember a few vlogs back, I had mentioned to you guys we were getting all the windows in the house replaced and that it was going to be a really long process um, just because these folks are really, really busy. They have a lot of customers and we kind of had to just get in where we fit in in terms of the wait list for the installation. So anyway, the good news is that our windows are created and done. We had a lot of custom joints that they had to build because our house is, you know, technically old. It's about 25 years old. So our window cutout openings were a little bit on the custom side just because they weren't as common in terms of the dimension. So they had to build everything with those considerations in mind. And we had some architectural windows that needed to be custom built as well, which is normal, right? Most homes, if you get your windows replaced, it's a custom job. So I'm not saying it's anything special. So it took a while, but anyway, that's all done. And we scheduled our installation, but that's the bad news because the installation is way out mid June. So we are waiting, waiting, waiting. But you know what? 
I'm just glad that the windows are built and ready. They're gonna be quality premium windows and they're gonna be getting installed by some of the best in the industry. So it's worth the wait. All right, I ain't complaining. Let's get it done right, no rush. So this morning, um, I dropped Ann off at therapy, you know, our usual morning routine. And remember I told you guys I had that Cadillac, so they went ahead and picked that thing up today, um, right this morning while I was in the garage prepping for a quick little project that I'm about to do. Do y'all wanna see? All right, come on. You guys hear the heater going because it's a little bit cold today in Chicago. All right, it's giving wintry mix, all right? So it's kind of cold, so we turn um, the heater back on out here. But anyway, y'all, I'm out here in the garage, and I got an idea, okay? You see this area on the wall right here? It's kind of clear, you know? It's got nothing on it. Most of these walls have something on it. This one doesn't, so I think I have an idea. So y'all remember when I cleaned out here and organized and all that, so it's still going strong, it's still working, so I love that. And I have created this little shelving storage area right here. I did a whole video on it, so if you haven't seen it, I will link it for you, it's really good. I basically show you how to DIY garage organization like all by yourself not needing a man or anything so check it out if you haven't but I used this little system here to store some automotive supplies and equipment and it's been working out great but you know what there's no room for anything relating to detailing or cleaning your car this is all about like car maintenance and things of that nature so my mom had actually given me this little caddy right here Random as ever, but she had this in her house and she wasn't doing much with it. So I'm like, give me this. So it's a two tiered, two basket kind of um, caddy. And I had started putting all of my like um, car cleaning, detailing uh, supplies and stuff in it. And I was like, oh my God, this is actually perfect for this because I don't need a whole lot of things to be in here. It's just enough space for me. And I could just put that thing right here. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so in order to um, mount this thing properly so that it's not falling down and all that, because it's probably gonna get quite heavy, I'm not going to attach it to a stud because, because the dimensions don't work based on uh, where you would be putting the holes and the nails, right? So that's no problem at all because I have a solution. This is my little tool storage unit right here. So what I'm gonna do first is I am going to I'm gonna use these drywall anchors. I actually used these in another video where I was remodeling, so to speak, our coat closets in our foyer. So these are good when you need to mount something directly into drywall that is quite heavy. And so this is just gonna give you that reinforcement that you need. This product kind of pops and locks into the drywall. So whatever you mount to it, it is going to stay up to 159 pounds per anchor. So yeah, I'm gonna use my trusty drill here to make the proper holes. I got my drill bits right here. I'm gonna use my level to make sure that the thing is going up even. I had already used my stud finder to discover that there are no studs in the areas where I need them, so we already know that. And I think that's all I'm gonna need. All right, let's get started. So this is how I'm going to choose where to drill my holes. I got my level. It happens to be magnetic and the top of this thing happens to be magnetic so it fits perfectly on there. I'm just going to line it up where I think I want it to be. Use the level to kind of determine whether or not it's even and then I'm going to mark off where I need the holes to be for me to start drilling. So I've already done that, now I'm just about to drill. Now I'm just gonna grab a quick hammer to help me tap in those drywall anchors. So the anchors come like this. All you need to do is fold them like that. And then you'll push them into the drywall and then there's a little peg you can stick in there which will open it up. So it'll open like this behind the drywall. So this tension that you see here, that is the strength that's keeping whatever you're mounting up. This is 159 pounds of strength right there. Here's the little peg that I'm gonna use. All I'm gonna do is stick it into that mechanism and then it's gonna open it up on the other side. Hmm, okay, what I'm realizing is that the drywall thickness 
on this particular panel for some reason, whatever reason, it might be a little bit thicker than um, the 5 eighths to 3 fourths inch recommendation for this product. And the reason that I know is because the peg that I just tried to use to push through, it wouldn't push and that's not normal. Um, but that just lets me know that there's probably more depth there than I thought. And then I'll, as I'm looking in this hole that doesn't have the device in there, I can kind of see and it does look a little bit thick. So no worries at all. I'm just gonna pull that device out of there and I'm gonna switch to these drywall anchors because these ones, it don't matter how thick the drywall is. So I'm gonna use these instead. That's why it's always good to have options on hand. And even if you don't, it's always just good to know how to troubleshoot and problem solve because where you might think that something is wrong with the drywall anchor is probably just that the drywall is either thicker than you thought or it's probably not even drywall. Sometimes it's plaster, it just depends on like, you know, how old the house is or, you know, if it's a commercial building versus residential, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna pull this thing out and go with these other drywall anchors and see if that works. These hold um, 79 pounds per anchor, so it's just as good. This thing is not gonna be more than 50 pounds, you know. All right, now that I got it kind of started and sturdy with my manual screwdriver, I'm gonna use my drill and get this thing over and done with. Yeah. Okay, and just like that, y'all, my little caddy is up. Okay, let's let's put the um a uh, 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 level on here to see how level we were able to get it. Okay, you guys, I would say that's pretty damn level, okay? So she up there, I'm gonna put all my little supplies back inside. Okay, we got our Armor All tire foam. Going in at the bottom there. We also have our Armor All multi-purpose cleanser spray. This is my husband's. We're gonna put that down there, you know, keep all the brands together. And I've got my Method Glass and Surface Cleaner. I'll sit this one right up top here. Now I have my leather cleaner and conditioner that I ordered off of Amazon. We also have our Chemical Guys Total Interior Cleaner and Protectant. And then we've got our Invisible Glass Glass Stripper, which works amazingly. If you guys haven't seen the video where I kind of demonstrated this, check it out but it comes with its own sponge, so I wanna keep these two together. Super, super nice with plenty of room to grow into it. There's plenty of empty space if I need to add more products to it. But so far, so good. This is pretty much everything that I need to sort of clean and detail my own car. There's also room for me to add my microfiber cloths in here if I want to. I can always do a little something like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's everything for now. You guys, what do you think I'm missing? What do you use to detail or clean your car? What are y'all using? What am I missing? You know what I mean? I don't have any like carpet cleaner and stuff like that. So that might be what I'm missing. Y'all, if you have a favorite, put it below. Let me know, put your girl on because I've never cleaned my own carpet in my car, but maybe I should start doing that. So let me know if you guys have a favorite. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So where we have our automotive sort of maintenance products over there, you also have your detailing and cleaning products right next to it. So I really love having these little caddies, you guys. So, so cool. Let me know what you guys think of this quick little project. Okay, got that out of the way. Now it's time for me to make breakfast and get my morning started. Y'all have a lot of work to do. I got like 40 emails that I need to respond to. People are like, Vaughn, where you at? <laughs> so let me eat really quick and then go. But y'all, I am so sore. Like, I actually didn't sleep well because of how sore my arms are. I had a really intense hit um, training session yesterday that I went to, and I am just extremely sore. Like, I'm just like, man, I was doing like a lot of push-ups and ball-ups and burpees and like all that kind of stuff that requires a lot of like arm and core coordination. And you know, when you think you got it going on, and then you go into one of these training sessions and you realize you don't, but I did really well making it through the whole workout. Um, like it's like 30 minutes straight of just nonstop hit. So that is actually quite a lot. And I made it through the entire workout. Like I did all of what was asked um, and I felt really good about myself. I was dripping in sweat, but y'all, I am just extremely sore. So 
I usually work out, have a day off, work out, have a day off. So today is my day off and I am just recovering. I'm trying to drink a lot of water, eat my proteins or whatever and just make it through. But I'm supposed to go back tomorrow morning and I'm gonna, but I hope that this soreness um, has kind of gone away because I can barely straighten my arm all the way. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Like that's how, that's how sore I am. So anyway, my little greenhouse happening back here as I wait for nicer weather to be able to plant these. So this is my little collection so far. And so many of you guys um, brought it to my attention that the Spanish lavender attracts bees. So I am two seconds from taking this back to the store. That's the good thing about Menards. You can take anything back, literally anything, and they will take it back and give you a full refund. So if I can't think of another place to put these, I'm gonna have to take them back. Oh, but you know, I could put these on my front stoop because I don't, we don't even, we barely even use the front door, so. But I definitely can't plant them in the back because my husband has a bee phobia and he's also allergic, which there's probably some overlap there. So I know he's gonna freak out if I even tell him that these attract bees. I can't wait to be able to start planting all my stuff. I can't wait for these atrocious windows to come out. I'm gonna be so glad. Okay, breakfast time. I'm gonna have some Topo Chico with my breakfast. And I think I'm gonna make what I made yesterday, you guys, and that's a Greek omelet because it was so damn good. I want another one, okay? So basically, you make it with tomatoes. Oh, but you know what? I think I am out of Kalamata olives. So that'll be the thing that I don't have. I think I'm out of them. I think I ate them all. But anyway, I'm gonna chop up a little cucumber on the side because I just love it. And then I'm going to have some spinach in that thing and some feta cheese. And I'm gonna make an egg white omelet using my egg whites. Hey, look who it is. Like, I just came in from outside and I'm feeling wild and crazy. I'm feeling wild and crazy. <laughs> you looking for Ann? She's gone. I wanted to show y'all her belly. Sansa did the ultimate snap back, y'all. She is all the way tightened back up. Come. Come on, let's go over here so they can see you. Come on. Sansa, come. It took her about four months to get all the way back to her pre-pregnancy body, but she has arrived, y'all. She got all her weight back. Her little nipplies done sucked in quite a bit. Y'all remember when they used to really, really sag? They've really sucked in. You can almost barely even tell that she was ever pregnant. Sansa is something else. She is something else. Come on, girl, come. So she's gotta calm down. Come on, place. She needs to calm down. When she comes in from outside, she be like on 10. Sansa, calm down. I really don't like Sansa in the kitchen when I'm cooking because she is so nosy. She has her nose poked into everything. So usually I will put her in the laundry room or the basement while I'm cooking. But today, since I'm only cooking something really quick, I'll leave her where she is. Don't touch my stuff, Sansa. She has finally sat down. Good girl. Spoke too soon. Sansa, don't be messing with my flowers. Sansa! And made me a Mother's Day card. <laughs> oh, so cute. Hey, Michi. And this is a wedding that we're excited to attend coming up soon. That's Anthony's work partner and his beautiful fiance, Sabrina. So we can't wait to go to that. Sansa finally ran out of energy over by the paper towels. That's why I never trip when she comes in from outside all wild and crazy. I just ignore her because give it five minutes and this is what you're gonna get. A lazy dog. If I wanted her to run right now, she would not be able to. She is out of gas. It'd be too funny to me. Sansa, you tired now, girl? Mm-hmm. You don't wanna run and jump, you sure? You don't wanna run and jump? <laughs> she like, you better leave me alone, girl. <laughs> Big dog life, so funny. All right, here's my breakfast. I got my Greek omelet minus the olives, so sad. A couple slices of turkey bacon and some cucumber. And now I'm about to have um, also some Ezekiel bread. This is the raisin one. And get back Sansa, girl. See, this is why I have to put her away. Look, 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 look at her. 
she really thinks she's getting this. Um, and then on top, this just this Country Crock plant butter, the olive oil one. This, this is my favorite butter at the moment. Um, so, you know, I still have some plant-based um, favorites. You know what I'm saying? I still love cashew butter and spreads and different things. I still eat medjool dates like they're going out of style. So nothing against the vegan sort of lifestyle. I'm just, it's not for me anymore. And a lot of you guys be asking about it, especially on Instagram, because I feel like um, my Instagram viewers are not the same as my YouTube viewers a lot of times. So for some of you who follow me exclusively on Instagram, you, you're not sure what's really going on in my life that I share on my real life vlogs on YouTube here. And I get a lot of questions about um, people being, you know, concerned and or curious about the reemergence of meat. Um, and I've been thinking about doing a video where I just kind of break it all down as to why I am no longer um, avoiding meat. So I might do that. I was kind of hesitant because I don't want it to be taken as though I am bashing the vegan lifestyle or the plant-based lifestyle. I also don't want to make it seem as though I am promoting the meat eater lifestyle because I'm kind of somewhere in the middle even though I'm eating meat. So it's, a, it's really strange. It's a lot to it. I guess I should go ahead and do a video and explain it. But y'all better not take it wrong, okay? So yeah, it's breakfast time and then work time. And let me take off this hat. Why didn't you tell me I still had this hat on? Okay, I decided to have my breakfast down here in the kitchen before going upstairs to work because I deserve to be able to eat in peace with my dog trying to steal food off my plate, but in peace nonetheless, and not try and work and balance eating at the same time. I was headed to the stairs with my plate and I was like, you know what, no, no. I don't get paid enough to do both, okay? I'm gonna sit right here, eat my food in peace. So I'm glad I did. So I'm just finishing up my Topo Chico. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and respond to all these human beings emailing me. But I just wanted to say, my favorite part about meal prepping is the fact that my kitchen stays clean like this all week, okay? There are so many benefits to meal prepping. It's not just weight loss. It's money savings, it's time savings, right? You're able to manage your time around meals. Um, and you keep a cleaner kitchen throughout the week. So it is just a win-win. And you guys, I have lost 10 pounds ever since my birthday when I started this kind of intentional you know, fitness journey. I've lost 10 pounds total. I was 136 and on my way to 140, I'm already knowing if I'd have kept with the same pace, I was on my way to 140, which is for me like pregnancy weight. Now I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being 140, you guys please don't take it as I'm fat shaming or anything like that. But you have to understand I'm really, really short, right? And I've been a certain weight my entire life. So gaining weight like that out of nowhere is kind of alarming and it should be for anyone, you know, whatever, it depends on what your baseline is. So for my baseline, that was kind of like, a little bit accelerated, right? So once I started to really like take out the things in my lifestyle that didn't need to really be there, that's when I started to lose the weight. That's when I started to see the inches coming off and the difference in the mirror. So now I'm back to 125, which was the weight I was um, when I got married, essentially, or you know, right before I got pregnant with Anne. So I'm pretty happy about it. I mean, you know, it's not a thing about trying to be as small as you can possibly be. It's just about um, getting to a weight and a body composition that you're happy with, something that you can maintain and something that makes you feel good, you know? So I'm able to wear all of my old clothes, you know? I don't have to buy anything new. I'm able to fit into a lot of the older garments that we're kind of collecting dust, you know what I'm saying? Um, the bad news is that I lost some of my booty. <laughs> I feel faster, stronger, um, and more flexible. So I am with it. I'm with it, okay? All right, heading upstairs to work. Talk to you guys soon. Right. Just finished working out. As you can see, anyway, I'm ashy as ever because I'm getting ready to soak in the tub. It's much needed. I have deserved it. I have earned it. And I really didn't work out, work out. I just um, ran on the treadmill and I kind of toggled between walking and running just to kind of, you know, loosen up some of this soreness and stay on pace with my steps and get ready for tomorrow's workout in the gym. And is home, as you can see from the graham cracker trail leading into the kitchen. Annie Boo. Annie Boo, where are you? So it's um, a graham cracker party happening. She's got graham cracker dust everywhere. And what are you doing? What are you doing, mommy? 
Uh uh, give me this. Stop it, okay? Mm. Go back over there and finish your graham crackers. Come on. You want something to drink? Mm. You want water? Mm. Here. Oh, you tried to get some water. You didn't know how. Here, mommy. The baby was thirsty. Yeah. You tried to get some. You didn't know how. Oh, Ann. Good job trying. Ann has been really trying to do big girl things, you guys. She was down here earlier with some water and she had spilled it. And she climbed up on the counter to get paper towels so that she could clean it up. And I was in the bathroom, okay? I came back down here. She had little piles of paper towels um, trying to soak up the water. She had done a really good job as a big girl, so I was really proud of her for that. I wasn't even mad, I was proud. And what are you looking for? You want cucumber? You want cucumber? You want this? Okay, let me cut it up for you. Come on, let's close the refrigerator. Uh oh, uh oh, Ann, you gotta be careful. It's just so crazy because what saved my phone was the damn pop socket because it was up off the counter so the water just didn't even affect it. Man, the littlest things. You ready for your cucumber? Let me, let me cut it up for you, okay? <sighs> Kids don't have no patience. So this is what I'm about to eat if I can get a chance. Whew, geez. It's only my second meal of the day. Okay, it's a prepped meal that I made with that bison. So it's like, I think three or four meatballs with some spaghetti and some broccoli. And I'm about to cut it for you right now. And take it easy, okay? Here, so impatient, here. Kids be like, I want what I want as now as possible. Matter of fact, can you make it yesterday? How about that? Can you make it yesterday? <sighs> anyway, I'm having my late lunch with the Muppet Babies. Are we eating with the Muppet Babies? Sansa at the door like, let me in, girl. I had to put her out back so she could go pee while I went to go pick up Ann. I didn't want her to like pee in the house, you know, because I know I was gonna be gone for at least 40 minutes. But I ain't gonna hold you, girl. This is good. This is not bad at all. Have you guys ever had bison? Because this was my first time having it, not today, but since my nutritionist recommended it as a, um, Protein recommendation. You want to try it? See, this is how she plays with me. She wants me to give her my food so she can lick it and be like, no thanks. Oh, you want my broccoli. That's what you want. Here. Here. Anywho. You like it? Sit down, Ann. What do you have against sitting down? Hmm? What do you have against sitting down? Anywho, so bison tastes like its own thing. It tastes kind of like beef, but not really. It tastes a little more gamey. Ann, here, here, here. This kid does nothing but eat all day long. Now she just sat here and had her lunch, and I got her the cucumber to follow up the lunch, and she still wants my broccoli. So when I get done eating this, I'm gonna fix her some roasted Chef. broccoli, and Chef. Chef. and that's gonna be it for you. Y'all, I have been eating so oh, yeah. clean, and I am frankly tired. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am just so tired. I want some custard, okay? I want a sundae. I want chocolate. Chef. Yeah, I am not playing. Chef. I'm gonna stay the course. You know, but I'm going to have some treats this weekend. It's Mother's Day. I'm having some treats this weekend because I just... Sansa, why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? I deserve a treat. Wait, Ann. I'm going to let her in. Wait, wait, wait. I'll let her in soon. <laughs> She's like, let my girl in. I'll let her in soon. Okay, now it's time for me to fix this roasted broccoli for my baby. Let's see here. So I did get these little frozen broccoli florets. I'll just 
Heat this up, about to drink me some lemon water real quick. All right, while the broccoli is roasting, get my bath ready. Okay, so it's time for my bath and I am ready. I can't wait. Okay. Took my braids out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take a quick like 15 minute bath. Yeah, I can't be taking no 30 and 45 minute baths with this one, okay? But midday baths would be the best. They really do. Yummy, that's all I can say, yummy. Good morning. It's morning <laughs> and I'm finally getting to shampooing my hair. So that's the process I'm in right now. I've rinsed out the shampoo and I'm about to um, go ahead and condition. And you guys, I'm actually getting ready, right, um, for the Her Heart Summit. I'm gonna be sitting on a panel about motherhood. And I told you guys about it and I posted it on my Instagram and everything. So I'm getting ready for that. It starts in two hours, so I'm gonna quickly do like, um, a phony pony really quick and that's the hairstyle I'm gonna wear today and then later on this evening I'm going to be going to Mother's Day dinner with my husband I'm so excited and thanks to my sis Moo Moo she's going to be keeping in this evening while we go to dinner so I'm really really looking forward to just getting dressed going out downtown being out with my husband I'm just really looking forward to that so um that's what's happening today. So in real time, today is Saturday, um, the day before Mother's Day. And I'm really excited about this panel discussion, you guys. And yeah, so Anthony uh, took Sansa out for a walk and then he ran to go get a haircut. So now it's time for me to get beautified and get ready for my discussion. Okay, so I'm having a little decaf coffee in one of my favorite mugs. Did you guys know I love skulls? I don't know if I uh, told you guys that. But yeah, I'm about to condition my hair. I'm gonna use my Moisture Spa Recovery Mask by Dove Amplified Textures. This is one of the really good ones. Smells quite nice. But yeah, you guys, my hair feels super, super good. Look how long it's getting. It's just ridiculous. It's just growing like a weed. But yeah, I love how my hair uh, feels. It has no product on it right now, but I just really love the way it feels. It feels so healthy. And my protective styles have really, really been doing me justice, you guys. I have been loving the convenience of it all, and I've been loving how it has been allowing my hair to really, truly flourish and retain length, which is always good. My twist outs this summer are going to be so damn cute. All right, I'm all dressed. Let me show y'all my hairstyle. I just did a quick ponytail that I attached on there, and I got my, I got my notes here, and I'm gonna finish up my beverage. And I'm gonna head down and set up my um, broadcast space because it was recommended that we give ourselves a nice background, not just like a blank wall. So I gotta go downstairs and kind of see where the light is hidden. And then we're going to go into a green room type of setting while we wait for the live broadcast. So let's go do that. What are y'all doing? Ann is over here. I come down here to the loudest home sounds in the world. I gotta try to turn this situation from noisy to complete silence in a matter of minutes. Oh dear. 
All right, you guys, so the summit went great. I'm so sorry I did not get a chance to get any footage of it, but I wanted to thank all of you who attended. I really got to assert myself as an autism mom, so to speak, and learn so much from the other ladies on the panel. I really, truly enjoyed it. I went and got my nails done after um, the summit, and then we are actually in the car right now on our way to drop off Anne with Alex, and then we're headed straight to the restaurant for a Mother's Day dinner. As we make our way down Lakeshore Drive, it is always a mood, so relaxing. Feels good to just be out and just enjoying life. Life, and this is definitely a much needed break away so here we are at the signature room we're heading up the elevator you guys this restaurant is on the 95th floor welcome to the signature room the restaurant chicago looks up to i don't know about all that the food is just okay but you know what you come to this place because you want to have this vibe you want this view you want to take in all of this beauty and that's exactly why we're here very beautiful building really a landmark of sorts even we're up on the 95th floor like i mentioned in the john hancock building so a very historic site for the city located right in the heart of the city you have a beautiful view of the lake right by all the shopping and hotels and everything so if you're ever in my city and you have a chance to get a reservation at this place definitely go out of your way to try and do that because you will absolutely enjoy the experience but yeah like I said the food is just okay you guys know I'm a foodie so I'm a really harsh critic but you know I'll give them a pass because they were actually closed down for quite a while from the pandemic and they're just now reopening they're kind of short-staffed in the kitchen so they had to limit the menu so they're kind of just winging it back there but I definitely understand so yeah we ended up ordering some appetizers to start. Anthony wanted the scallops, I wanted the oysters. I got the steak with the broccoli and the little seeds on top, it was pretty good. And then my husband got the chicken with the mashed potatoes. For dessert I had the creme brulee and my husband had the chocolate mousse cake. And just before we were done and ready to head out, we noticed the fireworks happening over by Navy Pier, so you definitely get a beautiful view of that. So I would say if you could make your reservation for like 6.30 or 7, that's the perfect time to be able to experience the day to night, kind of transition and get all those views. Hey guys, it's the next day. Well, it's actually a couple days later. <laughs> Y'all know how I do piecing together these vlogs. Anywho, I had a great Mother's Day weekend. I'm really just popping in to properly close this vlog out. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed my Mother's Day weekend. It was really relaxing and most of all, fun. I got to spend time with my family. I got to spend time with my friends. So I was really feeling it. After our Mother's Day dinner at the Signature Room, I actually ended up going to a brunch the very next day that my friend Jerry was hosting. And I didn't vlog because I really didn't know anyone there. It was kind of like a last minute type of thing when I found out he was doing it. I was like, I wanna go. So I didn't wanna vlog and like be all up in people's um, personal spaces and everything. They had some speakers come out and they were really like motivating and they were all women of course. And they were talking about entrepreneurship, they were talking about retiring, they were talking about investing, and just really inspiring kind of responsible financial type sound bites that I took from it. So I had a really good time listening to good music and just eating and talking and just catching up and stuff. So that's pretty much my weekend. It is come and gone and now it's time to get back to the work week. So Anne is actually downstairs right now um, having a snack and listening to some music on her iPad. My husband's at work and everything and we're supposed to work out today together. So I'm waiting on him to get home so we can do a little couples workout here. We're not going to the gym because we just really can't swing it today. We need to go to the grocery store so we can meal prep and all that stuff. So we're getting into the week hitting the ground running. But I wanted to thank y'all for spending your Sunday with me again. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are enjoying my Sunday vlogs. I've been trying to have them be a little bit longer. So let me know what you guys think about the kind of extended length of the vlogs. We're trying to go for at least 30 minute vlogs, hopefully 45 minute vlogs. So let me know what you guys are thinking about the duration. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye.